Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's February 24th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Morgan, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Uh, as a shortened week with the holiday uh, coming in on Monday, a lot of economic data we uh, saw and surprisingly hot economic data from uh, consumer spending right through inflation this morning's uh, PCE indicator for January was higher than expected. How did the markets react? Sure. Um, so this week we did see a lighter calendar. It was just under four billion. We saw outflows pick up, and we saw MMD wider across the curve. So as of this morning, we are about twenty-five basis points wider in the ten-year part of the curve, and about eighteen basis points wider in the thirty-year part of the curve on MMD. And ratios on the long end also increased from about eighty-eight percent last week up to just under ninety-two percent as of this morning as well. Um, and as you mentioned, you know there was some data points this week of interest. Um, Fed, minutes, Fed minutes came out on Wednesday. Uh, consumer spending and inflation data came out this morning, which have all kind of reiterated that the Fed still has some work to do to achieve their um, 2% inflation goal. And we are seeing treasuries sell off today on the back of this morning's data with the 30-year treasury right around um, a 394 currently. And not really surprising that you'd see muni investors a little more wary than investors in some other markets uh, during a period of volatility and, and rising interest rates. Luckily, the calendar is not uh, much of a challenge on the other side. Yes. So despite it being a lighter calendar, BAM did have a nice week. We priced about $128 million across 14 series and five states. And just a few deals to highlight from this week, we saw $36 million Bristol Township School District in Pennsylvania, which was priced by Stiefel. A 21 million community unit school district of Rochester, Illinois, which was also priced by Stiefel. And then in the competitive space, we saw an 8 million Northgate Crossing Municipal Utility District number two, which was bought by Raymond James. Great. And looking ahead to next week, a slight pickup uh, as we go back to a full five day week. What kind of things are you seeing? Sure. So as of right now, it looks like the supply should be right around $5 billion. And just a couple of deals that we'll be watching here. There's a $46 million New Albany Plain Local Joint Park District in Ohio that Stiefel will be pricing. And RBC will be pricing an Arlington Local School District in Ohio across two series for about $27 million. Great. So we'll uh, check back in next week and see how that plays out. Thanks for your time, Morgan. Have a good weekend. You too.